Welcome to the Daily News Network and you're on a mission with Jack Sears where we explore with local businesses and nonprofits about the successful techniques and the things that they're doing to bring their mission into reality. And joining me once again on the show is Alita Turner who owns and operates Built to Rock events. Welcome back to the show, Alita. Thank you, Jack. Great, yeah. So it's been some time since we last chatted and uh, how's business going? It's going good. I'm so thankful for my clients and also just being a service to everyone. Oh, outstanding. So so for those who don't recall, tell us about your, uh, your business and what you do and what's your mission, right? Yes, yes. So Built to Rock Events is your one-stop shop events management firm specializing in event planning, graphic design, and website management. We also can create custom products with acrylic, leather, and paper. So um, there's so much we can do to serve others in the community. Wow. You know, I think I picked up on a couple of things. You've added a few things to your uh, service delivery since we last chatted, haven't you? Yes. So we have a 3D laser printer. So that all allows us to do more for our clients. Yes. A 3D <laughs> laser printer. Uh, technology is beyond me. I'm aging myself. So so, um, so now you're two years into this, right? And, and I know that prior to that you had a very successful nonprofit background because we we crossed paths so how's it going uh, as far as you and your leadership and and bringing this uh, mission into reality yes yeah, so I am thankful to serve as the marketing um, chair for score Jacksonville and okay. I'm also a steering committee member with Blue Zones Project Jacksonville okay. so I continue to serve in my community but I also have to focus on business so it's a nice balance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know um, focusing on community is such a great thing that we hear that that most successful entrepreneurs they they, they want to give back right uh, so that uh, so in giving back it also com comes back to them right so thinking about leadership right what are some of the challenges that you've had to overcome? One of the challenges as a leader that I believe I face is just remembering to put my family first. Sometimes mm. we focus on serving others, mm. but we also have to make sure that we're present for our family. So as a mom of three who are in public school education because I'm an education advocate and also a parent leader, it's so important to remember to serve others in community. And also when I show up, recognize that they're going through different personal challenges that I also face as a parent. Wow, wow, mom of three. <laughs> running a business, right, that's growing and thriving, uh, and then your volunteer service in the community. Uh, I'm reminded of that circus act where the guy spins plates on sticks. Is that yes. you? Yes, and we're just, you know, trying to keep it up in the air and okay. not, not falling, but sometimes, you know, honestly, I miss the mark. There are some times, because my um, youngest is at home with me on some days, I might forget that I had this Zoom meeting. So it's better to get me in person. Get you in person. <laughs> so let me ask you this, what's the future look like for your business? Is it uh, growing? Uh, what are your goals, I guess, for the future? Yes, yeah, so I'm so thankful. I actually went through Jax Bridges Cohort 20, and they're celebrating their 10th anniversary. So through that program, I definitely was poured into so that I could continue to grow as a business owner. So definitely growth and strengthening relationships with my current clients and hopefully potential new ones. Okay, good. <laughs> That's good. Um, any lessons learned you'd share with someone who's uh, following this kind of journey with you that you've taken? Yes. Um, one of the things that I believe is so important is to show up. And so no matter what's going on in your personal life, there's something about being in the room with others. And so just making sure that you're going beyond your comfort zone and remembering to show up. Okay, remember to show up. Well, listen, I'm glad you showed up here and, uh, and, and have joined us on this show. You've been a marvelous guest. And uh, if we wanted to learn more about what you're doing uh, in the community, if we wanted to learn more about uh, your business, how would we connect with you? Yes, so my website is builttorockevents.com. We're also on Facebook and Instagram as Built to Rock Events. Built to Rock Events. Dot com. Yes. Right. Great. <laughs> well, thanks again for joining us here at, uh, at the studios and, and doing this. And we wish you a lot of success in what you're doing. Thank you so much, Jack. That's good. <laughs> That's it, folks. That's the time we have here today on A Mission with Jack Sears. If you'd like to learn more about Alita, Built to Rock events, and uh, a host of other things that are happening here in our community, be sure to check out this interview and many others on the dailynewsnetwork.com. Until we get together next time, stay well, be healthy, and remember,
treat each other the way you'd like to be treated.